Hi guys, um, I'm going to do a little demo video um, of um, receiving, basically, I'm doing a scenario of receiving a tethered jailbreak um, Apple TV through the post, what you need to do next. Uh, because there's a, different, uh, a few different situations going on at the moment, is that when people are receiving um, Apple TVs tethered through the post, or even if yourself you want to boot yours back up, there's two scenarios of having the tethered boot greyed out, and it not being greyed out. So hopefully, um, I'm going to do a uh, demo um, of my Apple TV 2 tethered uh, in a situation where you guys can uh, um, sort it out yourselves if you come across this problem or not. Uh, so basically, yeah, so imagine um, I've just received my Apple TV uh, through the post, uh, and now I want to tether uh, boot it to uh, my TV so I can go ahead and watch some. Uh, Movie, movies, etc., like that. So basically, yeah. First thing you need to do is download um, a program called Season Pass, which you can see here. Uh, you can find that from uh, Firecore.com. Uh, once you download it for your specific um, Windows or Mac, you must then right-click on the desktop and extract all. Uh, pretty simple instruction: extract all, and then a second folder will drop beneath it with it being open, basically. So what we need to do now, really, is we need to double-click on the extract fo uh, folder and make sure it's on, uh, click on application. Select yes. We'll let that load up, it takes a couple of minutes. Um, click allow. It also in brackets recommended anyway, so click that, press OK. And now we'll come up with a message stating that obviously you've got a firewall, internet security or whatever like that you've got on your PC, desktop or whatever. Um, you can either disable it and go ahead and redo this, or you can leave it on and um, hopefully it will work. Some, it's just Basically it's just warning you that um, this program may not run correctly with certain um, security internet settings on. Um, AVG is fine, um, uh, it works perfectly with this. I can't say for everyone because I don't know what you guys run. So uh, you can click OK. We'll take that close the screen down. And now you've got your Apple TV, so you want to tether boot it. So all you need to do is you need to connect your micro USB, um, which is this one here, and you want to connect it to the back of the Apple TV, which I'll do now. And hopefully, it's there, there we go. And now you want to click on Tethered Boot, which you can see, guys, that it's not greyed out. It is not greyed out. So, hit that. It's going to ask you to uh, wait for your device to be in DFU mode, which you've got to do manually. And it says there, please connect USB power, then press hold menu and play stroke pause for seven seconds. So I've connected my micro USB, and now I'm going to go ahead and connect my power which I've just done, and now I'm going to hold the buttons for 7 seconds, as it says. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Release, and now you see that the, it will say the device is found in DFU mode. And what it will do now, it will up, so it's upload, and it will boot back the Apple TV up. You can see it says booting the device. Now it says the tether boot is complete. It says to disconnect the USB and connect to HDMI. Do not disconnect the power. Okay? So what I'll do, go ahead now, is I'll disconnect the, US, uh, the USB and I'll plug it into my TV. Right, let's, I'll just let you guys pan around and you can see on my Apple TV there. I've connected it up and you can see straight away it's loaded itself up and you've got all your uh, all your settings and everything set up like this. Um, obviously the time is a bit way out but again you can uh, change that in the uh, in the settings. You can see XBMC is here as well which you can uh, go on and use. 
Um, so hopefully that clears up a little bit of confusion uh, of when people receive a tether jailbreak, um, a tether jailbreak uh, Apple TV. Um, for the guys that do uh, receive the grey, um, will receive Apple TV, and you have to um, use an alternative way to boot it, i.e., it's greyed out. Um, I put instructions on my Apple TVs um, for the way to do this. Um, the only thing I would say is if you are um, in that situation of having it greyed out, you will have to run season pass um, jailbreak over it and you may lose uh, the XBMC and all the goodies like that, which you'll have to uh, manually do this. But again, it's very rare. Um, I've had two cases out of probably about 30, 35 Apple TVs that I've done. Um, but what I'll do is that I'll do another video shortly um, of where to get all the add-ons on from. Uh, so you guys can see that if you do, if you are in a predicament where you've got to rerun season pass, I can uh, show you guys how to um, fix this problem uh, with quite a lot of ease. To be honest, um, hope you like this video, guys. Um, please rate, share, and subscribe.